Hey guys, I uh, as I am starting this video, I just realized that set the bus chat literally just subscribed to me right now. But other than that, um, thank you. Anyways, let's get to the point of this video. So I'm actually just gonna go straight forward. So here I have made a already actually made a map for how the MTA is going to look without the some of the lines. So the flushing line, I think that's just going to have to be completely abandoned, and that will be a rip. Unless they do a shuttle, which would pretty much be extra service. Like, that's just adding the 7 train right back on. Then that would be a little bit weird. So, they should... If they was to add a shuttle, then, um, you know... What? Uh, um... It's not this one. This is the only P-Line track map. Right here. So I could have sworn I deleted that thing. Because I actually used the subway map to like outline it. As you see, like now it looks like Manhattan. Kind of. And looks kind of like Brooklyn a little bit. But not really. So anyway, let me get straight forward. So being that there are no one, two, or three trains. Here's the idea. Can I please get rid of the subway map? Because I thought I just deleted it already. There we go. I was using it to outline the map. So here is the Broadway 7th Avenue line. Which I actually am really vague. I actually forgot to add the numbers and letters and stuff, but I'll show you a complete revised one later. Here's Van Cortlandt Park, 242nd Street. This is the sixth train, okay? And then it goes all the way down. I forgot to add the stops as well. And it connects with the five at 96th Street. Once it connects with the five at 96th Street, it's going to go express due to the huge amount of stops that the sixth train is going to have. And the five train, it will go local sense and needs to also provide some those stops. Because we don't want all the station in the MT to be abandoned. Well, all those, you know, the lines that's being suspended. Well, just remember, we don't know if it's going to happen. But they said they're going to announce it tomorrow. Announce the budget cuts. So if they do slash off these lines, then they're going to have to make some sort of change. But we're not actually sure if that's ever going to happen. So I can't be making assumptions like that. But if that ever happens, here's my alternative. So yeah. Um being that the sixth train has a huge amount of stops and it's going to go express via seventh avenue. While the five goes local. So it goes all the way down. Um all the way down. And then the five just turns via Chamber Street and then it goes pretty much via the two line and then out there. While the six it starts going via the one line all the way to South Ferry. The loop is the loop is going to have to open up again. It's not really going to take a, a, um, a lot of time to open it up because it's probably like a few days because it's already lighting and stuff. They ain't take not, nothing out of it. And then once that happens, it's going to go back up on this regular line all the way to Palm Bay Park. So, yeah, it's going from the Bronx, literally going all the way down. And then, yeah, also express via the Lexington Avenue line due to the a large amount of stops. While the four goes loco. All the way down. And then Vita to Bowling Green and then Vita South Ferry Loop. Back up to 242nd Street. So that's like a that's a pretty long journey. Honestly. Honestly. Um next we have the five. So this is the five train shuttle right here. This is the five East on the 80th Street shuttle. Dyer Avenue to 180th Street. We all know about that. And then a pretty usual thing. If it's any delays on the two on the five line, pretty much it's gonna go over the two. So that's pretty common. So it's gonna go over the entire line that it's supposed to. And then at 149th Street Grand Concourse, if you wanna go over the regular five, just take the four right here. And then I'm not showing the four because it's the same thing except the New Las Avenue one. It goes to New Las Avenue pretty much any time. Um, after that happens, it's going to go over the two line and then via 7th Avenue local to provide all those extra stops missed. And then get sent all the way to Flatbush Avenue. The seven line, sadly, that's going to have to be abandoned because the only line that does connect to the seven by track is just the end of the W. And being that the end of the W is BMT, it's going to start bumping into the station and no one's set to happen. Adding a shuttle is just pretty much the same thing as adding a 7 train as well. Now, here's for the A line. The A line is actually the same, except that it's just local the entire way. So, yeah, this entire line 
that all the way still down here. This the same exact route, except that it's running local. Local via Fulton Street, local via Eighth Avenue, local via Central Park West, which is also Eighth Avenue. Um, so yeah, goes his regular route. I forgot to add the S train right here, but you guys know what what the deal is. Four says there's no B train and there's no D train, so the C train is going to have to start its two thousand days again, and go to the Bronx to Norwood to on the Fifth Street, Concourse Local. All the way down to 145th Street, then via Central Park West Local as usual, and then instead it goes via the D, it goes via the D or the B line all the way to Sixth Avenue. Then it goes down West Fourth Street, Washington Square. Doesn't go back to the A; it just stays on the Sixth Avenue line, and then goes via the F line to J Street Metro Tech. And once it goes to J Street Metro Tech, it's still not going to go back to the A line to its regular line. It's going to go via the F. Says the F is gonna have no other choice of um you know ways, so F is not going to be abandoned. Well, the F line probably we don't know, cause I don't know yet either. We don't. I'm not even sure yet. The rumors, they're just rumors, and there's no actual proof that the trains are going to be suspended forever. So that's why I made this. It's fifteen three parts of parking stuff. C train goes all the way down to Coney Island via the F line. There are announcements for it. There's announcements for the C to Coney Island. Um, next for the E, which I think you guys already saw. The E line starts at the regular Jamaica Center. Does its regular route. It goes local the entire way. It's a Queens Plaza. Once it gets to Queens Plaza, since the G is going to be abandoned, then it's going to go via the G line. That means no Manhattan stops. And then goes with a G line all the way down to Church Avenue. After it goes to Church, um, no, not even that. So the J line is going to be abandoned, and I couldn't find any other. I was thinking about making another train just go via the J line, like right here, but then I couldn't actually find any that much. So that's like a rip for the J. I mean, I probably still could do something with it, but in the same time, I kind of can't. So. You know, uh, the L line, L is the exact same. There's actually no change at all. The M, there's going to be no N trains, as the rumor says. The N, there's going to be N trains, but here's a little catch up. I'm going to start from downtown in Coney Island. The N line goes where the regular C Beach, which is where my magnifying glass is right now. Um, and then it goes to Lower Manhattan, where the at late nights it usually goes. Then via the regular Broadway line. And then here's a little twist. It goes via the F line to Roosevelt Island, and then it goes via Jamaica, uh, Queens Boulevard Express, all the way to Forest Hill, 71st Avenue. The Q train, 96 Street, 2nd Avenue, and then it actually goes via... Um, it goes via the 6th Avenue line to provide some express service down there. And across Manhattan Bridge. And then, you know, this regular route to Brighton Beach and then Coney Island. The R train is going to go from Jamaica Center to 179th Street. And then, um, you know, goes... Via the, it goes via the Fifty Third Street line, and then after that, it goes via the Sixth Avenue line to provide some extra local service because that line is pretty used. Goes down the Grand Street with the Q, so that means Grand Street Q and R trains until it gets to Decalb Avenue. And lastly, the W. W is a story of Dip Mars, um, pretty much its regular route, except that after. It goes into Lower Manhattan. It doesn't stop. It doesn't terminate in Lower Manhattan. It actually goes like keeps on going. And since the D line is, is abandoned, then it goes via um the D line. Anyway, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Here it's just a brief track, um, not track map, but subway map I made in case FDMTA gets 
budget cut and literally slashed out 12 routes. And I forgot to mention, but also the the rumor says that the Franklin Avenue shuttle is also going, so I didn't add that. But yeah, let's just hope that this is just fake. Let's just hope that this is just fake and that the MTA is not going to do this, because if they do that, then I'm just going to hate the MTA for that. So, yeah. I uh, hope you like the idea. If you guys want to present to me any other track maps or anything, then let me know so I can, like, at least approve the opinion. And later.